Hello, my name is Bridget Young. This is my submission for the Vulture Challenge. Um, I'm going to be do, um, doing the video um, on Edward Erickson, who's going to be played by John. All right, so um, first things first. Hi, Edward, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. So um, thank you for filling in the uh, um, personal profile um, with us. So we've had a bit of a, a look through it. Um, and it says on here that you would like to um, lose 10 kilos in the next six months. Yep, that's right. Yeah, to guard against um, some uh, health obstacles. So you've specifically said guard against osteoporosis. Yep. Yep, fantastic. Okay, and you've indicated um, that you feel that your diet requ requires a number of changes, but you're not sure where to start. Yep. Fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to go through now, if it's all right with you, is the dietary habits questionnaire. Yep. All right, so um, really quickly, just a little bit on the scope of practice on what I can do as a fitness coach. Yep. All right, so um, what I can do is I can educate you on the Australian Guide Light to Healthy Eating. Have you heard of that at all? Uh, yes. You have? Okay, so you're aware that it's changed a little bit, um, slightly. Yep. So instead of being the pyramid, um, that we were kind of used to, it's now a plate. Yeah. All right, so we'll go through that in um, more detail later. Um, but first, what we're going to do is just go through the questionnaire. Are you happy to do that together? Yep. All right, so we've got your, I've got your name, um, today's date being the 16th of October, 2021. And dietary goal, I've put in there as per your um, questionnaire, lose 10 kilos in six months. Yep. All right. Are there any other special dietary requirements? Uh, no. No? Okay, no worries. So, how many serves of vegetables do you usually eat per day? Bearing in mind that one serve of vegetables is half a cup of cooked vegetables or half a cup of cooked lentils, chickpeas, salad vegetables, um, half a potato, one tomato. Um, like I would that. say probably a low amount. I'm not low? Sure. Okay, so zero to one serves, yeah, maybe... two to three, four to five or six plus. Maybe zero to one. Zero to one, okay, yeah. Um, how many serves of fruit do you usually eat per day? Um, probably two, two to three. Two to three serves, fantastic. And how many serves of breads and or cereals do you usually eat per day? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. So that's um, pasta, noodles, breads, porridge, all those sorts of things. I'd probably say high because I have bread and that. Uh, high? With most meals okay. and have quite a few pastas and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So around the four to five, yeah. you, you think? Okay. No worries. All right. How many serves of dairy do you consume per day? Um, Alright, so um, just for context, one serve of dairy is one cup of fresh long life or buttermilk or half a cup of evaporated milk. Um, I, I, I would say probably a lot since I've recently got a coffee machine and been um, drinking a lot of coffees a day. Yes, yes, they're great. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Do you, on the higher end of the spectrum, we've got four to five serves per day? Yeah, I reckon four Or to, six plus? Uh, four to five. Okay, all right, no worries. All right. How many serves of meat or alternatives do you consume per day? So that's cooked lean meats, uh, cooked lean poultry, cooked fish, fillet um, or small can of fish, two eggs. Um, or if you, I don't know if you eat any meat substitutes like tofu or nah, things like that. No, mainly just red meats. Yep. Um, so I'll probably say six plus. I have six plus serves a day. Quite a lot of meat. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. No worries. Thank you for your honesty. All right. Now, looking at the list below, how many discretionary choices do you think you have in a week? So, um... Um, so that's things like ice cream, processed meat, uh, sausages, I, biscuits. I do like my ice cream and biscuits. Yes, yes, don't we all? Um, how many? Yeah, a week? yeah, yeah. In one week, do you um, think so? And this, the scaling on this one's a little bit different. So you've got zero to three serves per week, 
four to six serves per week, seven to nine or ten plus. I reckon easily ten plus a week. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, now. Fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through together before we um, finish the um, questionnaire, just the Australian Guideline to Healthy Eating. So this yep. is just on the, the website. If you um, search in Google, A-G-T-H-E, which stands for the Australian Guideline to Healthy Eating, you'll find yep. all the information ready and available. Um, I'll send you a link when we're done so that you have easy and quick access to it. All right, so um, what it's got on there, but basically what the AFC does is promotes health and well-being to reduce the risk of diet related concerns, which you have indicated is something that you have front of mind. Yep. Um, it's got a food selection guide and it visually represents the portions of the five food, food five food groups. Sorry. So as I mentioned earlier, as you can see, it's yep. um, in the it's in the, a circle with it, like representing a plate. Yep. So how much of your plate should be filled up with these sorts of um, food groups? Okay. So um, in your two biggest um, portions of the pie we've got grain cereal foods mostly whole grain and high cereal fiber varieties and vegetables and legume, legumes and beans now um, good thing is you said that you eat quite a, a high amount of the the grains and yep. things like that all right but as far as vegetables and things like that go you said you're a little bit lower on the yep. spectrum okay um, and then in the three smaller sections of the pie, you've got your lean meats and poultry, which does include your red meat, which I know that you're quite yep. a fan of. Um, your milk, yogurt, cheeses, and all those sorts of things, including your dairy um, and fruit, all right? So, but the good yep. thing is you did say that you were getting your serves of fruit per day in, which is fantastic. Yep. All right, and then it has down here um, of the small amounts of food, which is like your sometimes foods, okay, which includes like, um, your your maccas, your ice creams, your cake, your biscuits, all those sorts of yep. things. So it is okay to have those things in moderation as sometimes foods. All right. Yep. So um, given that and what we've had a look at now that we've filled in your questionnaire, um, I would, what I would recommend um, based off the information that we can get from the website is yep. it might be worth um, having a look at just decreasing your red meat intake yep. all right and swapping it out for some of the other options that are available to you um, obviously increasing your vegetable intake um, which can be a lot of things you can sneak it into um, lots of your everyday meals yep. all right so um, obviously through breakfast lunch and dinner you can add um, spinach to your omelets in the morning you yep. can um, add salads to your lunches and lots of um, vegetables into your dinner that you can mix in and you won't even notice that they're yeah. there. Um, I would suggest a bread substitute might be good. So swapping out some of that white bread, for example, um, and, and those really high um, uh, like white breads and things like that over yep. for some of your more wheat breads and um, things like that your brown breads yep. and brown rices okay um, but I also would like to um, refer you on to a accredited dietitian okay because yep. I think that they could help um, you along your journey as well um, especially given that you've said that your main goal is to lose uh, the 10 kilos in the six month time frame. Um, small changes will help along that, um, but I, I definitely think having a, a chat with yep. a professional um, could um, also help push you in, in the right direction. And that um, being is that that's, this is the area of expertise they can offer you so much. Yep. All right, do you have any questions for me no. at all? All right, are you happy to, if I um, send off your information yep. to one of the dietitians? Yep. Perfect. They're fantastic as well. So um, they'll, like everything that you give them will stay, you know, confidential and they've just got your best interests at heart. Yep. All right. Sounds good. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you for um, going through that consultation with me. And um, as always, if there's any questions or queries, just let me know, okay? Yeah, will do. Thank you thank for you. sending me in the right direction. Thank you.